Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says Russian strikes on the Ukrainian cities of Kyiv and Kharkiv have killed at least four people. The attack follows Russian President Vladimir Putin's vow to intensify attacks on Ukraine. Moscow blamed Ukraine for shelling in its border city of Belgorod on Saturday. That attack killed dozens of people. Ben Tracy is following the latest for us in, uh, in Ukraine. Ben, what more can you tell us here about the latest strikes in Ukraine? Well, this was a massive Russian drone and missile attack on two of the largest cities in Ukraine, including the capital, Kyiv. Now, the Ukrainian Air Force says a record number of attack drones were used, nearly 100 of them, and also hypersonic missiles that can fly 10 times the speed of sound. These are rarely used by the Russians because they're very expensive. Citizens in these cities had to huddle in, huddle in underground train tunnels to escape this bombardment. And Russia says this was retaliation for a Ukrainian strike on a Russian border city that happened over the weekend. What more can you tell us about that strike in Belgorod, Ben? Well, this is one of the deadliest to take place on Russian soil since the war began nearly two years ago. Russian officials say 25 people were killed, including five children. Russian President Vladimir Putin calls it a terrorist act and vowed retaliation and to intensify strikes on Ukraine, which we're now seeing play out. So what supplies does Ukraine need to handle anticipated Russian attacks throughout the winter, throughout this next phase? Yeah, there are real concerns of these stepped up Russian attacks on infrastructure in Ukraine during the long, cold winter where people can be left without power and electricity. Patriot missile systems is the main thing that the Ukrainians say that the Ukrainian government says they need. These are used to repel Russian missile attacks. President Zelensky says that they are saving hundreds of lives each day, but they are in short supply. And keep in mind, Ukraine has a 600 mile long shared border with Russia. So these come in very handy, but they really need everything from ammunition to attack drones in addition to these large scale scale missile systems. I mean, that said, U.S. aid funding is currently being held up in Congress. So who else is Ukraine turning to for that support right now? Yeah, so the last U.S. equipment is going to be delivered to Ukraine unless Congress approves more. There is a $60 billion package being held up uh, largely by Republicans in Congress. Ukraine has said that its war effort is really at risk here if they don't get more help from the West. There's another EU aid package being blocked by Hungary, so that's also being held up. But besides the United States, Germany and the U.K. really have been the top sources of aid and weapons, and the Ukrainians are pleading for more help. And Tracy, thank you. Thank you.